We'll be talking today about sorting algorithms, which is an important part of any computer science curriculum. I think the first thing you might ask is why would you ever need to sort data? And I thought I'd come up with a, a couple of examples that might help you understand that. I think the first thing to say is imagine a few real world examples. Um, let's say a banking application. You might need to put all the customer accounts into alphabetical order. You might need to put them into balance order and find the person with the highest account balance. Uh, from a customer's point of view, maybe you want to see all of your transactions over the last month in a date order, starting with the most recent or the most distant in terms of the past. There's lots of different reasons you might want to sort that data. If we look at something more fun, gaming, maybe an online gaming lobby, you'll see a, a number of players in the lobby. You might want to sort those players into alphabetical order, maybe into order in terms of the number of points that the players have got, uh, who's been in the room the longest, maybe the person that's been in the room the longest is the host of that lobby. And if they leave, the next um, person takes over being the host. Maybe you would want to order in terms of most kills, least deaths, best gamer score, etc., etc. So you need to sort things into order in order to do that. And then actually inside a game, if we move away from the lobby for now and say we're in a game, you might want to find the closest enemy, which means you would need to put all of the enemies into a list and sort them into order of distance away from the player. You might want to sort all the players into order, say it's a multiplayer game, and find out the person that's currently winning. Um, you might, after the game, want to sort out um, your last 10 game scores and see which one's the best, so your, your most recent high score. Uh, you could order increasing or decreasing in terms of score, find your best game, your worst game. You know, I could go on. There's so many different reasons you might want to put data into order. So assuming that we understand that, that sorting is important, the next question that usually comes up is, I, I can just put them in order by just looking, you know, the idea of learning a special way of ordering things, it just seems pointless. And I think it's my job over the next you know, 10, 15 minutes, over the, a few videos to try and explain to you that that just doesn't work in the exam. You can't just put them in order uh, by looking at them. And even if you do that, you're actually using an algorithm um, in your mind and you probably don't realize that's what you're doing. Uh, if I take these, for example, these the, I'm assuming these are players and, the, and each of the numbers underneath represent the current score. This player's got four points, this player's got one point, etc. And if you said to anybody put them in order, it's really simple. You can just say, well, this one's the biggest. I just need to put this at the front and, and so on. And, and the problem with that is just the act of finding the biggest one is itself an algorithm. You possibly don't realize I've done that. You've looked and thought four is currently the biggest, seven's bigger than four, seven's currently the biggest, one, no, seven's currently the biggest, three, no, seven's still the biggest, oh, nine's bigger than seven. And then you found the biggest one and then you can put that at the front and that that is technically an algorithm and, and i could i could go on i could then think well which one's oh seven is now the biggest and i've done that by realizing that four is smaller than seven and, and these two are too small and i could then swap these two round etc etc that is an algorithm and there are different ways of doing it and just putting them in order by looking at them is uh unfortunately the enemy in this topic because people think well i'll just i'll just do that and they don't realize they've got to do it in a certain way what way, you might ask. And um, that brings me to this next question, what do I need to know for the exam? You need to know two different ways of sorting data. The first way is bubble sort. And the second way is called merge sort. And I'll be making separate videos on each of these. The first one is the simpler of the two, the more simple, works quite nicely for small, uh, numbers of data data items, maybe up to a thousand uh, things. It works quite well. Merge sort is more efficient later on when you are sorting more things. And computers sort millions of things very quickly, so merge sort will come in handy there. The difficulty with merge sort is the actual code is more complex. Uh, easy to code, good for small number of things. Difficult to code, good for a big number of things. So that's it in terms of introduction. If you check out the next video, I'll start talking in more detail about how to actually perform a bubble sort.